Hey guys, it's Ed with CMC Reptiles. I'm going to do a little bit of a video of me just cleaning. I got a, maybe five or six hatchlings that made a mess. Show you how easy these liners are to, you know, change out. And what I do is, I mean, right here you can see it's, you know, it's pretty much dry. But I still, I have a little bit of warm water here with just a couple of drops of uh, antibacterial dish soap. And I just drop him in there for a second while I'm cleaning, just in case he was sitting in any of this, you know, pee overnight. So, yeah, I'll do this and just show you kind of how easy everything is. Jelly cup, fresh water. And I'm just gonna dry the snake off after. Put this girl back in. That's one, done, easy, clean. And another guy, it looks like it's been wet, but it's hard to tell, because when they pee, like I said, this stuff dries up. But I could tell in the corner, the moisture, a little bit of wetness. So whether he spilled water or whatever, I still make sure. And I don't see any urate, so he just might have went pee. So I change it out anyway. I just keep a stack of liners, you know, right above me. Mix a cup, water. snake off and again I do this only be just in case he was laying in some pee this was actually the only normal I hatched out this year again clean easy Example. Definitely, I see a little bit of urate, so this one did go pee, see? But you can see the liner, how it absorbs. And by this afternoon, this will be completely dry. Because, you know, I spot cleaned these yesterday. So this is just from what he did last night, because I actually fed last night, too. So, again, really easy to do. Soak a little bit, some water, clean. I'm going to spray this with F10.
Fancy cup. Said, I'll let it sit and some of that antibacterial soap. And again, it's just a drop. Just so they're not, you know, I don't worry about bacteria, but again, that simple, easy. Paper's really absorbent. And then they're in a clean, completely clean tub. Again, you see the urate and a little bit of moisture on the side. But again, when these things get wet, they dry up, but they have a little bit of dampness to them. You can see the humidity here on the side. This stuff insulates the tub to the point where it holds the humidity. But it's dry. There's the urate. It's, I mean, if you lift this up, you'll see a little more moisture because it was covered. And I like doing these just to show you how, you know, well this stuff works over any of the paper. And if you're wondering what that X is on this tub, I have two snakes that I did that to. And I, what I was doing is I was feeding these two snakes frozen thaw. The rest I feed the rats that I breed. I feed them pretty much the same size rat pups. I just wanted to see if there was a difference versus feeding live, healthy rats to the frozen thawed rats. And they eat once a week, and I'll kind of show you the difference to what the difference is. It's actually pretty amazing. This is just a pastel hatched out, and I will show you another snake. Okay, you see the difference here? This snake right here. Here, I'll kind of show you in the tub. Since it's clean, here we go. It's a healthy snake, but it's not as big as its siblings. This is one of its siblings, and he made a mess. See the difference? Okay, that they came from the same clutch, but this one I was feeding my rats. Um, again, made a little bit of a mess. You're gonna see how it, this paper dries it up. It doesn't it's not soaked and saturated. But kind of shows you the difference between frozen thawed and feeding your snakes live. So I kind of like doing little stuff like that just to kind of see the difference. Because you have so many slow growing snakes. The size difference between snakes, even though they're born on the same day. Pinching these with my finger, creasing them with my finger, it's really easy to crease. 
So I left mine, you know, a little bit oversized. As you see in that last one, he pooped. No mess. Alright guys, I wanted to do that quick video just to kind of show you because some of these liners are going out and this way they can see, you know, how well they, and these are just hatchling racks again. Alright guys, thanks.